we back. Now, a few weeks ago, I dropped a video named Guessing Every Starting Point Guard Over the Last Decade and Guessing Every Starting Shooting Guard Over the Last Decade, where we're continuing that trend as we do every small forward over the past decade. I got a 90% on the point guards and 84% on the shooting guards, which I'm, I'm not very proud of. So today, I need that redemption. I need at least a 90% to master small forwards, so let's head over to it. So this one was created by King Hayden. I appreciate that. But you only gave me 10 minutes. Yo, I need some time to deliberate. I need some time to talk my trash. For example, I know Ron Artest is going to be on this quiz somewhere. Ron Artest is one of my favorite of all time. And I can't sit here and talk about it for 30 seconds if I only got 10 minutes because, well, I run out of time. But regardless, I'm going to try my best to get as many as I can done in just a 10-minute time frame. At the bottom, you can see I haven't played just yet. The bot got 184, which is... Not very good, so I'm going to destroy the bot, but I also want a 90%. Let's get right into it. We can't waste no time. Torian Prince this year, and then we had some Kim Bazemore. Uh, we're going to have some Damari Carroll. We're going to have some Cal Hoover, and then we're going to have some Josh Smith? No. Josh Smith was for the Pistons. I'm going to pause this and explain this. So, Josh Smith and Marvin Williams played together during that time frame. The question is, who is the small forward and who is the power forward? Because sometimes, you know, teams run out those lineups where you don't know who's a shooting guard. You don't know who the small forward. So if you see me guessing names, you're like, wait, Kenny, he's usually a shooting guard. It's because sometimes they play different positions because they're big enough or small enough to run multiple positions. So though I thought that Josh Smith was a small forward, it has to be Marvin Williams by default. Boom. <laughs> Perfect score for the Atlanta Hawks. Next. The Boston Celtics. Nowadays, it's Jason Tatum. I'm going to roll through this. Jay Crowder was there before that. Of course, we're going to have Paul Pierce. Ooh, actually, I thought I was going to roll. It's two years. Oh, the name that's perfectly fit to being a part of the Boston Celtics, Jeff Green. Perfect score so far. Bobcats is probably going to kill that. But let's get into the Bobcats with Michael Kidd. Gilchrist. Spelt the name wrong, but we back. So there's two years that it wasn't Kid Gilchrist, which means that it was probably Nick Batum. Again, another situation. Who's the small forward? Who's the shooter guard? Who's the power forward? Don't really matter. There's three more years that they were going to have some J.R. Wallace. Yes. One of those years, J.R. Wallace was an all-star. I forget which year it was. Or actually, I think J.R. Wallace was an all-star for the Nets. Regardless, Gerald Wallace was an all-star once upon a time. So shout out to him for that. The Bulls. I should get a perfect score. Starting off with Luol. Dangerous. Uh, then we got Jimmy Butler. This year is going to be Justin Holiday. Before that, we're going to have Denzel Valentine. And then Mike Dunleavy? Booyah. Mike Dunleavy is one of those guys that you liked him if he was on your team, and you hated him if he wasn't because he was chippy. He threw little cheap shots that you didn't see if you weren't watching closely, and that's why that one game Giannis got ejected for pushing him into the crowd. That was a long time ago. This year's Shetty Osman. Um, and then that year after LeBron left, they were bad. So I don't remember who their small four was. So we'll skip that and we'll come back to it. Mavericks, we cannot forget about Chicago native Sean Marion. At least I'm pretty sure he's from Chicago. I say that because I met him here in Chicago. He was just playing at the YMCA against random dudes. He was big. He was huge. Playing against people my height that maybe a little bit taller. Just balling. You know, getting better. He was really old, though. He's very old, but he's still hooping. Next, Harrison Barnes. No Harrison Barnes. So are we saying Doncic is this? Nope. That means, again, another situation. Who's the shooting guard? Who's the small forward? Who's the power forward? Don't really matter, but we get Wesley Matthews for four straight years. Nuggets. Wilson Chandler was in there. We had some uh, Gallinari and then Carmelo Anthony. Come on, man. We can't forget about Melo. And then this year, there was Will Barton, but he got injured. So that means it's going to be her, Nan, go, mess. See, that's one thing you could say about me. I, I didn't know how to spell his name for a long time, but after getting it wrong so many times, I learned it. I learned it. You know, it's important to know how to pronounce and spell names, even though I, the pronouncing part is sometimes pretty hard for me. Pistons, Reggie Bullock is... No, it's not Reggie Bullock, okay? So, it's not going to be... Luke Kennard started last night, but I think it's because... Who's injured? Stanley Johnson doesn't start, but we got Wesley Johnson down there. Hey, um... Glenn Robinson. Glenn Robinson. Boom. And then before that, before Glenn Robinson and Reggie Bullock, I don't remember who their starting small four was, so we'll skip it. Harrison Barnes with the Golden State Warriors. Of course, we're going to have Kevin Durant. Uh, Igwudala. Ig. 
Woo. Dollar. I mean, it's just one year. It's just one year, but we probably got it for the 76ers when he was an all-star and everything. So, cool. And for that, we probably got some Corey Maggette. No? Oh, I guess that's one year. Um, Steven Jackson? Not for him. I don't know who was there starting small forward for those two years. Don't remember. But Houston Rockets are this year's James Ennis. P.J. Tucker? No, Trevor Reza, though. Booyah. Taylor Parsons. Oh, and then Taylor Parsons was that one year in Dallas when he got that huge paycheck. Or I guess... Right before he got that huge paycheck. Regardless, we got that one year of Chandler Parsons there. And again, there's always one or two seasons that I can't remember. Regardless, I think we're doing pretty good. With that, we just got higher than the bot. So I think we're doing pretty well. Danny Granger. If you don't know who Danny Granger is or you weren't around to watch him play, Google his name, watch some highlights. He was he was a dog. He was a dog. Never was he like one of the best in the league, but injuries took him way too early. But it made way for players like Paul George. And then now they got Bog Bogdanovich. What is this? We've encountered an error retrieving your online friends. I don't even have any online friends. Or friends in general. I'm kidding. Y'all are all my online friends, but I'm, they mean like on this site. I haven't added anybody on this site, so I don't know what that is. And Okay, so there's one year. This is the year that Paul George snapped his leg, right? I don't know who replaced him. Let's say CJ Miles. No, we'll come back to it. It ain't that important. The Clippers had always been a team that was that never had a very good small four. When they had the Lob City days, they tried out Paul Pierce. They tried out Matt Barnes. They tried out Wesley Johnson. They tried out Chris Douglas Roberts. So, no, he went for the Brooklyn Nets, but not for the Clippers. I'm going to have to come back to the Clippers. Brandon Ingram, we already got LeBron, Metal World Peace, Ron Artest, whatever you want to say again, one of my favorite of all time, mostly because he opened up the NBA, or he was one of the originators of talking about mental health in basketball, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have players like DeMar DeRozan or Kevin Love coming out and talking about depression and stuff like that, so my fandom of Ron Artest is not because he was a great NBA player, or what he done on the court is mostly what he did for the NBA off the court, so shout out Ron Artest, I still got a way, found out a way to talk about him, even though I'm short on time. So there's one year here. I remember this year. Their starting lineup is D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Clarkson, and Kobe played small forward that year. Kobe being Bryant. Not a Lakers fan, but I mean, I, I, I got the history. Even though that was just a couple years ago. So it's not like I'm going too deep in my mind, but I remember that. So Memphis Grizzlies last year, they had Dylan Brooks. This year's going to be Kyle Anderson. Rudy Gay. Boom. Miami Heat. Josh Richardson. Richardson. So, oh, Quentin Richardson. I would have never guessed Quentin Richardson. So, shout out to them for just having to say last name. Um, Who's their starting small forward now? I just thought it was Josh Richardson. It's not going to be Wayne Ellington. Is it going to be Rodney Magruder? There you go. Heat fans. I redeemed myself. Last quiz. I didn't know who y'all starting shooting guard was. I'm sorry, Wayne Ellington. I got it right this time. Are you happy? Are you happy, Heat Nation? Next, with the Bucks, of course, we're going to have Ateto Kumbo. Still don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I can, I can show, spell it. Chris Middleton. Who started for them before Chris Middleton came to town? That's when they were bad. So, I, yeah, I don't know that. The Timberwolves. Oh, we're going to have Wiggins, of course. This year, Robert Covington. So, Wiggins is technically the shooting guard this year. But before that, before they drafted Wiggins, they basically asked me who was the starting small forward on those terrible teams that were Kevin Love. I don't remember. I just know it was a Kevin Love show. Brooklyn Nets, though. This year's Joe Harris, right? Booyah. We probably got to have some Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Boom. And then before that, we talking 2010, 2011. We already got Paul Pierce. We got Joe Johnson. Yeah, I don't know. Pelicans, on the other hand. Etuan Moore. We're going to have some Afro Camino in there before he got... I mean new before he ended up other places yeah that's all i know man pelican small forwards another situation it's been anthony davis show baby i don't know who their small forwards have been notorious i mean we already got we already got swissy johnson but he doesn't start i don't know Knicks, of course we're gonna have this year kev knox but before kevin knox yikes um it's not gonna be hard away no, I don't know who their son small four was last year. Lance Thomas? Yes! Shout out to my boy Mikey. If you watch our podcast, you know what I'm talking about. 
Lance Thomas. All right, OKC. We're going to have one year of Andre Roberson. The Magic. Uh, Evan Fournier. We only got a minute left, so we got to fly through these. This year is John Isaac. We had that one year of Eric Gordon trying to play small four. It didn't really work out. We got to come back to the rest. 76ers. After Iggy... I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. TJ Warren. We ain't got that much time, y'all. Jared Dudley. Yes. Before that, Grant Hill. Boom. We also got Solomon Hill up there. Trailblazers. Evan Turner got to be in there somewhere. This year, Jake Lehman. We only got 40 seconds. Have you seen what I'm talking about? You not giving us that much time. Now I'm rushing. Shumpert. Uh, before Rudy Gay, I don't know. Spurs. Of course, we're going to have Kawhi Leonard. Oh, my God. Leonard. And before Kawhi Leonard, who was he starting small forward? Danny Green? No. Who's the starting small forward of those teams before Kawhi Leonard got there? I do not remember. We only got 20 seconds left. Let's go, Joe Ingles. Um, Gordon Hayward. Wizards. Otto Porter. 15 seconds left. What am I missing? Orlando Magic. Small forward. Before Tobias Harris. Before Tobias Harris. Uh, Aaron Aflalo. Boom. Raptors. I'm See, if I had more time, I promise you, I can get out. Turkaloo, he do Turkaloo, Turk, uh, not, there we go, he do Turkaloo for the Raptors and for the Magic, if I had more time, if I had more time, that's three more points, but let's see what else we got wrong, up here, Anthony Parker, okay, you know, I thought he plays shooting guard mostly, but I'll take that, Marcus Morris, Cal Singler, Dor Dorrell Wright is not a name I heard in a long time, Shane Battier, Ryan Gomes, wow, that's a kind of a throwback, Luke Bob Mutek, Luke Babbitt, Carlos Delfino, another name ain't heard in a minute. Mike Beasley, Corey Brewer, AK-47. Another Ryan Gomes, Deshaun Stevenson. Uh, Travis Outlo, uh, old Pedro Stoyakovich, Dante Cunningham. Hedo Turkoglu would have gave me an extra three points, which would have put me at 260, 260 out of 300. That would have made me look so much better. John Salmons, ex-Bull. Army Caspi, Dante Green, Richard Jefferson, Terrence Ross, OG... If I had a little bit more time, I would have 100% got OG. I would have 100% got Terrence Ross, Hedo Turkaloo, and I would have got so much better. So, I got an 86%, which is higher than what I got on the shooting guard, but still lower than what I got on the point guard. Regardless, I appreciate you for getting to this point in the video. Thank you so much. This has been Kenny. Next time, next person to create this quiz for me, give me 15 minutes, maybe even 20. Let me talk about it and let me think about it, all right? Thank y'all. Peace.